Hello and welcome to the third of our special Europol TV news programmes devoted to the hearings for the new Commissioner's Designate, in which MEPs try to ensure that they know their subjects sufficiently well. Ten hearings in the first two days, four more on the third as Parliament committees put them to the test. Janusz Potocznik, Commissioner for Science and Research, will get the environment dossier if he's convinced MEPs. Arno de Molder's report is voiced by Joanna Gill. Europe will exist as a green continent or it will not exist at all. That's the vision of Slovenian Janusz Potocznik, the current Energy and Research Commissioner and future Environment Commissioner. During a hearing lasting three hours, he explained his policy, which hinges on a sustainable green economy, to MEPs. Um, how do you respond to those who say that we can't afford to invest in the environment now because we have to put jobs first? How the business should react are pretty simple. Who will be sooner in that job will be the profit winner. The other key policy theme was the fight against the decline in biodiversity. 2010 is the year of biodiversity. As Janusz Potocznik conceded, existing legislation is sometimes poor or not applied by some member states. How are you going to convince your colleagues, of especially fisheries and agriculture, about the importance of biodiversity? When we talk about the target of uh, which we set for 2010, we can clearly say that it's a failure. I intend to approach to colleagues and try to find the, the, the line giving them the hand of cooperation. The Environment Commissioner will lose power in one area, that of climate change. A fellow Commissioner will be assigned to work side by side with Janusz Potocznik on this portfolio. It's one of the biggest changes in the new legislature. The Commissioner designate will, however, remain responsible for water, air, and soil management policy if MEPs confirm his candidacy. MEPs will decide on January 26 during the Strasbourg plenary. Well, we now join Andreas Regal outside the hearing and with him is Commissioner Potocznik, for whom, of course, Andreas, this is not a new experience. No, Jim, that's right. He standing before five years ago and a certain trend has emerged, really. Uh, the Commissioner's designate who have done it before have fared uh, very well so far and perhaps uh, Commissioner and Commissioner designate Potocznik better than all the others even. I mean, one of the Lithuanian members said he has never heard as much applause in a hearing like that, neither now, now nor five years ago. So, Commissioner Potocznik, Potocznik uh, Commissioner designate Potocznik, you must be very happy. Yeah, I'm very really happy. I tried to do an honest job. I tried to prepare myself as it one should. It was uh, quite some time from the Christmas to here uh, because the area is really, really broad, uh, but uh, it paid off. Uh, and another member uh, mentioned that uh, when you were before, uh, commissioner for, uh, for research, before everybody is for research, uh, and he said, uh, yeah, you are still, of course, uh, and uh, everybody also is for the protection of the environment, but the political, uh, party political divides are much, much bigger in this one. Um, do you think that you have tackled that problem already here quite well? Listen, I think that part, of, that part of the political culture which I try to follow is the cooperation with all the political parties. Here we are to protect European interests and to work for everybody, and that's exactly the intention which I intend to follow also in my next mandate. Briefly and finally, perhaps, so what are the, the big um, priorities now? Yeah, the big priorities are, uh, are I, I would like that we would switch as much as possible to the resource-efficient economy that we would work when we deal with economic questions because we live in market economy, that we would uh, work, uh, deal as much as hand in hand between economy and environment and the understanding that this is our future and that sustainability is the only way we should go. It's uh, the real understanding between everybody who is dealing with that, including the business sector. I think we should help them also. That should be help coming from the public side, but there should be also clear signals and clear incentives in the right direction. That's the first one. The second one... I'm sorry, but run out of time, Commissioner. Thank you very much. Thank you. Address Regal, thank you very much indeed. Well, we've been uh, four hearings going on today, and this roundup of the rest of them was prepared by Hugh Weinstock. Hungarian Les Luander is one of three commissioners grilled by MEPs today. An economist by training, he is hoping to take home the portfolio on employment and social affairs. I was very happy to hear that you are going to include social uh, evaluation and that you're moving in a different direction, but I'd like to know whether you would be prepared to work with members. This is definitely my intention to work with you, uh, and I'm ready on every uh, complicated issue. 
As a former member of the Young Communists, a few MEPs attacked him on his communist past. Now, we understand that you fiercely deny having been a member of the Communist Party, but you are the editor of a hard-left journal. You oppose globalization, you oppose market economics, you oppose NATO. Those factors actually call into question your suitability for this appointment. The condition of the Roma, disabled people and youth employment was also broached. Laszlo Andor's hearing failed to convince all of the MEPs. Some found his responses evasive on particular issues. We do not have a vision when we speak about immigration and illegal immigration and the impact on Europe. I am sorry to say that you have no idea how serious the situation is in the south of Europe. Irish woman Moira Gagan Quinn is up for the post of Research, Innovation and Science Commissioner. I'm into action. We've done enough talking. The time is now for action. Frenchman Michel Barnier is set to take on the portfolio for internal market and services. During this period of economic and financial crisis, his arrival is hotly anticipated. Roughly halfway through the hearings process now, how do MEPs think it's going? Well, Andreas Rogal is near where they're being held, along with German socialist Joe Leinen. Andreas. Yes, uh, hi, Jim and Joe Leinen is, of course, the president of the Environment uh, Committee. Uh, just being finished the hearing of Commissioner Desinet Potocznik, which went very well. So my first question, perhaps, to uh, President Leinen is already, uh, are you looking forward to working together with uh, Des Commissioner Desinet, if he is, of course, uh, approved by the Parliament? I think he presented a good performance. He was quite outspoken on many questions that the members of the Environment Committee put him. And uh, he's committed to the ecology question. So I think that's a good starting point for our assessment now in the next hours. And um, I'm quite satisfied by these three hours what we heard from him. And uh, in terms of collaboration uh, with Parliament, of course, we heard of, uh, by some members of, uh, of some schemes. I mean, there is new uh, uh, provisions in the, uh, in the Lisbon Treaty, of course, uh, but uh, things have not uh, quite been clarified in some ways, and some uh, members are calling for a better or stronger uh, and clearer, perhaps, uh, uh, wording for com uh, collaboration uh, with the Commission, with Barroso, uh, in initiatives of, 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 a legal, of a legal nature. Uh, is he on your side? What, what is your impression? Yeah, uh, the Commission has still the monopoly for legislative initiatives, which is not normal. Normally, uh, parliaments have uh, as well the right of initiative. And therefore, I think Barroso has to commit uh, himself for the whole college. And I think Potocznik is on our side that uh, when there is a strong will expressed by the plenary of the European Parliament for an action and a an legislative initiative, that then the Commission is really following the Parliament and not blocking the Parliament. So I think he is uh, quite positive on, on this point. Jolanen, thank you very much. Back to you, Jim. Andreas Regal, thanks a lot there. One of the biggest names among the prospective commissioners is Michel Barnier, who looks set to get the powerful internal market and services dossier. Joanna Gill has been looking at his distinguished career. Michel Barnier has served his party in such a variety of roles, inside and outside of governments and parliaments, that one could reasonably call the 59-year-old the jack-of-all-trades of, of neo-Gaulism. Barnier was first elected to the French National Assembly at the age of 27, representing the Alpine Department of Savoie. It was here that he made his first international impact by organizing the 1992 Winter Olympics in Albeville. This achievement propelled him into the government ranks, serving first as Minister of the Environment. His next portfolio was European Affairs, and since then he is universally known in his home country as a true believer in European integration. Not too surprisingly then, 1999 saw him becoming European Commissioner for Regional Development in the Prodi Commission. Five years later, he returned to French politics, taking the helm at Foreign Affairs, later at Agriculture and Fisheries. This makes him unique in this College of Commissioners designate, as the only one who is a newcomer and an old hand at the same time. He is Vice President of the European People's Party, and it was for the EPP, as the head of their French delegation, that he was elected into the European Northern Parliament last year. European Parliament. His predecessor as Commissioner for the Internal the Market disappointed most Europe MEPs with his light-touch approach. By contrast, Barnier will be expected to sort out many pressing issues, not least regulation of financial markets in the aftermath of the crisis.
Well, 14 commission hearings down, 12 still to go. Keep up to date by logging on to europaltv.eu and, of course, I hope you'll join us again tomorrow. For now, though, goodbye.